Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Moomoo. Moo. Right now, you can earn an 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash by using my link in the description below. You could also earn up to 15 free stocks right now. So go ahead and check out Moomoo. Moo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the Discord, completely free to join. So I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Now let's get right into today's video. So today I want to make a video covering how to chart on the new Robinhood platform, Robinhood Legend, which provides a much more in-depth analysis and tools than the classic Robinhood desktop does. So let's just get right into this. Let's head on over to the Robinhood Legend desktop platform. So again, the way we can navigate to that platform is if you're on the Robinhood Classic platform, at the top, if you do have access to Robinhood Legend, you should see a button that says Robinhood Legend. So all we need to do is click on that button and that should navigate us over to the new Robinhood Legend desktop trading platform. And so what I'm gonna first do here is I'm gonna go to the top left and where you see this plus icon here, this is where you can go to create a new layout here. And when you click on this button, you get two options. You get start from scratch or you get start from template. So I'm just gonna choose start from template to make this process a lot easier. And once I select start from a template, I'm gonna go ahead and select a template that's more geared towards charting. And that one's called Chart Spotlight. So watch the market move and trade on a big chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna go ahead and add that template here on this new Robinhood Legend platform. And so this is gonna have two widgets here. So on the left, it's gonna have our watch lists. And I'll show you in a little bit why that can be very useful here. And then on the right, it's gonna give us our chart, right? And so right now the chart defaulted to uh, Microsoft here. But what's nice about having the watch list on the left is that if you wanna quickly take a look at the chart for any stock that you have on your watch list, all you need to do is click on that stock in your watch list and the chart will switch over to that stock. So let's say I wanted to quickly take a look at the chart for NVIDIA. All I need to do since I have it on my watch list is click on it and now you can see the chart has shifted to NVIDIA here. Let's say I wanted to quickly take a look at the chart for Google instead. Since I have it on my watch list, I can go ahead and click on it. And again, the chart will automatically switch over to show me the chart for Google. Now, what if we want to take a look at the chart for a stock that's not on our watch list? Then all we need to do is in our chart here at the top where it shows the current ticker symbol, all we need to do is click here and here we can go ahead and search up any stock that we want. So let's say we wanted to view the chart for Palantir stock. All I need to do is search up the ticker symbol or the name of the stock, and you can see it right here where we click on it, and now I can see the chart for that particular stock. Now, a couple of other things here. So firstly, for this video, I'm gonna be using Amazon stock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Amazon since it's on my watch list here. Now, right now, we're looking at a candlestick chart. But what if we wanted to view a different chart type? Where can we do that? So at the top right here, where we see these candles, this icon here, if we hover over that, you'll notice it says chart types. So you can go ahead and click here, and here we can switch to a different type of chart, right? Maybe you want to look at a line chart. Maybe you wanna look at a, maybe this with bars, right? Maybe you wanna play with the Heikinashi, for example, right? This is where we can switch chart types here. But again, I'm just gonna leave this as candles for today's video here. Now, uh, let's take a look here next. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and do the, one of the simplest things you can do when using technical analysis, and I'm gonna show you how to draw trend lines here, or just lines in general here on the chart. So let's go ahead and actually let's first talk about quickly how to modify the time frame here. So if you want to modify the time frame, notice that there's this interval section at the bottom here. So if we click here, we can see the current time frames that we can look at. But also notice that at the bottom, you can actually add a custom interval, right? So I actually did that with the one month uh, chart here. I actually added that. That was a custom one that I added. So you can add a custom interval here, but they already have some other ones that are you know, pre-made here. So like the weekly chart, the daily chart, the four hour chart, right? So here's where you can choose the particular time frame. So maybe let's say we want to look at the daily chart for Amazon. So I would go ahead and click on one day here. So now we're looking at the daily chart here for Amazon. Now to the left of that, where you see, you know, these other time frames here, this is more so going to show us, um, you know, how, 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 how big of a time we want to see for that particular chart. So for that daily chart, you know, do we only want to see one week worth of the daily chart? Do we want to see three months worth of this daily chart? Do we want to see one year's worth of this daily chart? That's what that means right there. And so I'm just going to say, let's, let's say we just want to look at three months worth of the Amazon chart on the daily time frame. So this is how we would get there. So now let's go ahead and let's draw some trend lines here. So how do we do that? So let's take a look here. So I'm going to go ahead into the top here. Notice you see this, you know, diagonal line here. And if you hover over that, it says lines. So this is what we want to click when we want to draw some lines, some trend lines here. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And again, there's a couple of different options, right? We have trend lines, uh, you know, extended lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. But let's say you wanted to draw some trend lines. I can go ahead and click here and let's just draw a quick trend line here. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to go here maybe. And I'm going to extend this maybe like right there. Something like that, right? We have a couple touches here. So I just drew a trend line there. Very easy, not complicated. And then I also wanted to show you guys that at the top here now, there's a couple of different options. So if you want to change the color of the line, you can do that right here. Say so you want it to be blue. So I can change it to be blue. If you want to go ahead and change the line style, right? Maybe you want it dotted or dashed or whatever. You can do that there as well. I'm just going to leave it solid. Uh, we can also go ahead and change the width. Maybe we want it a little thicker, right? We go up to five pixels if we wanted to. I'm just going to leave it as one pix. And then, you know, there's the weight. There's a couple of other things here or start point, end point. Uh, or you could delete it if you didn't want it, whatever. And then you can click done once you are done here. So there we have our trend line there, right? Very easy, not too complicated here. Uh, there's a couple of other options here, right? Like if you want to draw some shapes, if you want to do uh, use the uh, some advanced stuff like the Fibonacci retracement, things like that, uh, you can go ahead as well and add some annotations there. And there's this other more section here as well, but I'm not going to get into all of that here. So that's kind of how you can draw some lines here. Again, very simple. Now, what about indicators? And actually, before I go into indicators, one more thing I want to share with you guys here is if you right click on the chart. There's a couple of options here once you've drawn things on the chart. You can hide your drawings if you want and then later come back, right click and show the drawings. Or, you know, you could also delete uh, the drawing for Amazon or delete all drawings, right? So I'm going to delete this drawing here and it's going to go ahead and delete everything that I drew there. So that's how you can get rid of that. Now, what about indicators here? What about chart indicators? Where do we find that? How do we add them here? So again, if you go to the top right here, this icon right here, if you hover over it, it's gonna say indicators. 
we can go ahead and click on this icon here. And this is where we go ahead and add our indicators here. So I'm gonna click on add indicators. And so now it's gonna show me a list of indicators. You can also search here. It also have a section with the most popular indicators here. So let's go ahead and add an indicator. Maybe we wanna add the RSI, the relative strength index. Again, we can search for it here. And here it is. So we can go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna add this indicator uh, to our chart. So we need, to, we need to click this plus icon on the right here. And so as you can see, it has now added the RSI to our chart here. And so now we have indicators here as well. Now we can go back to that same icon here and we can add or remove. Let's add one more indicator here. Let's add like the MACD indicator, for example. So again, here's the moving average convergence divergence indicator or the MACD. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And now it has also added the MACD indicator. Maybe we don't want the RSI on the chart anymore. So I can come back in here and I can go ahead and uh, delete it. Or, you know, you can also uh, edit it here, right? Maybe you want different, uh, you know, options here. So let's go ahead and just remove it though. So we're gonna remove it. And so now as you can see, we have our chart with the MACD indicator here. And so that's how you can add some of the indicators here. And so again, what's really great about this platform here is that now you can trade in real time pretty quickly here, right? You can have your chart here looking at the chart. And, you know, as soon as you see an opportunity, you know, you can come to the left here, assuming that this stock is on your watch list. And if you hover over that stock, you can quickly trade it here, right? You can buy or sell it. If you want to trade options, then all you need to do is you can add that options chain widget here, right? And again, right, you're looking at the chart, you're analyzing it. As soon as you see an opportunity, you can come down here and trade options. So there you guys have it, an intro to charting here on the new Robinhood platform. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys next time.